Hello guys, so in today's tutorial, talk about NSP. We'll discuss how we can connect our PC with a router. As I promised earlier, that I'm going to show you how you can connect your PC with router. So let's go ahead and open our NSP. So without further ado, let's proceed. So open your NSP. This is our ENSP. For those for beginners, this is how our ENSP layout look like. So we have different component. So if you want to open a new topple, we just click on new topple. We can just go to the left top. Also, you can click here to open a new topple, or can even just close the window and open the workplace. So within our workplace, we will drag our components. So we'll start by dragging our, our PC. So we'll need two PC for this practical. So just go with two PC only. Then we'll have one router. So let's come here and select one router like that. So once we are done, let's proceed and connect each pc with a router so let's come and pick our connection using our ethernet cable using copper so select giga ethernet port 00 connect it with ethernet port 001 also giga net ethernet 201 just connect it with Ethernet 001. So once done that, we can highlight all of our PC and router, or you can just click each by one to start our router. Just a click, click start to a PC. You'll do the same, but let's try to save time. So let's highlight all of them and just click, click run and here we go so uh, now our pc are now connected with router so make sure these dots are turned to green indicating that our router or our connection or our pc both pcs and router are switch on so the next thing we're going to do we're going to assign a random ip addresses to our pc our gateways so just go ahead here and click text area just come here and assign a random address 192.168.1.0.1 network let's use 0.1 network for this subnet side also this gateway will apply the same same so we'll come here 192.168.1.0.1 also we'll assign the same same subnet network then on the other side we'll assign a different subnet network which is 192.168.1.2/24 this 24 this is our subnet mask meaning that 24 bits are used for network and the remaining 8 bits are used for hosting so let's proceed here again and add another IP address so this will be 192.168.1.1 slash 24 okay once you have complete assigning this random address we'll go ahead and configure our pc so that they will have these addresses in their systems so just double click open our system within our ipv4 configuration below the ip addressing we'll just open this and assign our ip address of our pc which is 192 192.168.0.1 
then our subdent mask of 255 so 255 255 255 and the gateway this is our gateway so we'll add a gateway of 192.168.0.2 then click apply and close this okay let's come to <coughs> again on this pc2 let's do the same so just here assign our ip address for our pc 192.168.1.1 our subnet mask of 255 255 255 and our gateway this is our gateway for this side of our router this is our gateway for pc2 just go ahead and assign 192.168.1.2 and apply 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 and close that window so now now our pc they have these addresses on their configuration so we'll go ahead and assign these two gateways within our IP within our router so that when we try to pin PC2 from PC1 the PC the router will recognize PC2 through the gateways so let's go ahead and do it so double click also let's go to system view then go to system system name so we'll go to system name let's name our router call it router one or you can call it router in full then within our router we'll go with the from this interface this for this gateway as you can see it has been written let me try to squeeze it a little bit let me bring this here then here you can see it's giga, giga ethernet 00, 000 so just come here and write interface giga ethernet 000, 000. then we'll assign our ip address so we're gonna assign our ip address as 192 remember we are assigning this git away so we'll turn this gateway within our router so 192.168.0.2 then we'll add our subnet mask of 24 just add 24 here and then click enter then let's quit so we'll come and add another interface for this side Got this interface this gateway so let's proceed interface it's interface giga 001 so giga ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 click enter and we will assign the ip address 1.2 1.2 we'll add a subnet mask of 24 and we click enter so once done with that we can close this and let's try to pin our pc1 or pc2 from pc1 let's check if it's working so come after basic configuration just come at command and let's try to pin our pc2 let's try to pin this one so just click and write pin 192 dot one sixty eight dot one dot one and click enter so you can see guys we are able to get replies meaning our pc one is now able to communicate with pc2 through router one so let's try this on our pc2 let's try to pin pc1 through pc2 and check again if you are able to communicate so pc pin 192 dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one click enter also you can see we are able to get replies from pc1 through our router 
so guys this is how you can connect this is how you can connect pc with router so <coughs> this was for today guys hope to see you in the next video remember to subscribe remember to comment guys thank you for your time see you in the next video thank you